tastes awful. How do you guys eat that? That doesn't even taste like cake. It tastes like poison. What's up, guys? Welcome back to our channel. My name is Chris. And I'm Lex. And if you guys are brand new here, please do not forget to subscribe down below as well as click that bell notification button so you are notified every single time we post a brand new video. We post a brand new video every other Sunday as well as sometimes on Fridays and Saturdays for vlogs if we feel like it. We would love to have you guys join the KNL fam as we are on our way to our hashtag road to 500. So I actually get this question a lot. Also, I guess you could say I get mistaken for not being Filipino. I get mistaken for Mexican, Arabic, and a whole bunch of other things. I am Filipino. This is what we, some of us, look like. He has a lot of Spanish in his family, so thanks to that, this is what happened. Yeah. <laughs> so for today's video, I thought it would be a fun idea to get Chris to try some of my favorite Filipino foods and snack foods that she hasn't tried yet. I'm super excited. I've only tried, I think, one of them that we have on the list because we have it like sitting around the house, but otherwise we've gone out and we bought like a whole bunch of stuff that I've never seen before. So it should be an exciting time because I have no clue what any of this tastes like. And to be fair, for some of them, I don't remember what they taste like because it's been a few years. Well, on that note, I haven't eaten all day and I'm super freaking hungry, so let's get right into the video. So her first snack is Hoibawa. So this is like a corn mix snack. Think of it as like almost nuts. I got excited so I already opened it. <laughs> it's garlic flavored. He gets these all the time and he always tells me to try them and I never do. One more. Ah. Ready? Yeah. It's just dried mm. corn. Yeah, pretty good. I'll give this a, a 6 out of 10 because if they were there and I was hungry, I would probably... <coughs> oh, Jesus. Water. <coughs> I need some water. <laughs> Holy shit. I just got stuck in my throat. Now it's a 1 out of 10 because it made me choke. <laughs> I think my mom made a whole bag of these ones. I'm wow. thinking of Ding Dong. Maybe you're thinking of the Ding Dong. Probably. I know what the Ding Dongs are. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna have her try polvoron. I'm gonna keep this with me because I almost choked on those. So <laughs> it's gonna be here just in case. So polvoron is like a, it's like a really dry cookie. That's the best way I can des describe it. A really dry cookie? Yeah, you'll see what it, it's like chalky. Ooh. Wheat cookie You're with like crispy eating chalk? No, no, no. What's it called again? Polvoron. 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 There you go. There we go. <laughs> so you might want water for this. Oh, I'm gonna need water? Yeah, like we'll have a little Candy piece. dandy flow. Cheers. It sticks to the roof of your mouth. I don't know how I feel about this. That's like a two out of ten. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of that one. Like it's like as soon as it goes in your mouth, it just tastes like flour. Gross. Next is hopia. Moon cake. Hopia. Hopia. Yeah. Okay. I can't remember what I can't remember what these taste like. We'll just share the one. And if we don't like it, we'll give it to my mom. Okay. It's like I'm eating Play-Doh. You know what? It's like Play-Doh. I don't even like that. I actually don't mind this. This is I... pretty good. Sorry. You don't like it? I don't like it. Woo! Hey, you I can eat my Play-Doh. Flour, sugar, salt, vegetable oil, and yellow beans. That's what it is. That's actually pretty good. And that makes sense because I like a lot of um, bean products like bean buns. I love those. I love anything that's like made with red bean. I think it's just, I'm, a, I'm just a bean. I'm gonna save that for like. This one should be good. It's crispy pata. <laughs> so this is a uh, crispy pata. It's pretty much just pork. It's crispy pork. Okay. So it's similar to like the Serbian one. Yeah. So my stepdad's Serbian. So we celebrate like Orthodox Easter and Orthodox Christmas. We pretty much have the exact same kind of pork that Filipinos do when it comes to this, like the way that they cook it. Uh, it's one thing that's actually really, really similar. 
So I have kind of like tried it before, I guess, but possibly it tastes a little different depending on the seasoning that um, people in the Philippines would use. So I don't know. But... Yeah. It needs salt. It's kind of bland. I don't know, pork is pork to me. It's pretty good. It's like a like an eight out of 10. It's just missing seasoning. Mm -hmm. Every Filipino has tried this at least once. It's sassy. The Philippines has its own root beer. Really? Still have some of the last one on. <gasps> oh. <laughs> I love root beer. <laughs> we have to cut that. <laughs> Okay, hang on, guys. So, <laughs> so you can smell it first. You can smell it oh, first. Don't drink it. Smell it. Oh. It smells minty. No, it's not. To me. It smells like licorice. Ready? I mean, it's definitely not like a Barks or a Mugs, but I would still say that that's root beer. It does taste very rooty, though. Let me see what it's. Like. Everything bad for you. Come on, Philippines. I thought this was better. It also says best before August 14th, 2019. No way. <laughs> How much was that? A dollar? A dollar. <laughs> Love you, Lego. Um, I would say that that's... I'd, I'd put that at about like a... Expired. Expired 7 out of 10 because I love root beer. It's my favorite kind of pop. Next we have barbecue flavored chippy. These are literally just like ringolos. Like, you know when they have ringolos like stretched out? Fritos? Yeah. Is that what they're called? Yeah, Fritos. Yeah, that's pretty much what this is. Just oh, okay. from Asia. They have a slight different taste to it. Okay. Slight bit. You might want that. You know what, Jack and Joe? These are pretty damn good. I still say seven out of 10 though. They taste just like Fritos. Fritos feel like they taste more salty. They probably use a lot more salt, but these are pretty good. They're much more subtle. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, cool. Goldilocks mocha marble cake. The Goldilocks cake. So um, I've had some of these when we came back from Philippines. It's way different than it is. It's just like a slice of cake in a package? Pretty much, yeah. You just take a bite out of it. Then it's pork. Ooh, it seems very moist. All you Canadians know. We like stuff moist. Trudeau. <laughs> Trudeau, man. Moistly. Moistly. Okay. Mmm. Oh, that tastes awful. How do you guys eat that? That doesn't even taste like cake. It tastes like poison. Ew. I'm not okay with this. This is just goodbye. Next we have ube cassava. Cassava cookies, but it's flavored ube. I've tried ube flavored things before. I was hoping maybe, because I don't remember what these taste like. But they come in packets of four. So we'll split it in half. Oh, it's, like, oh, it's, it's a, a heart. heart. Show them, look. That's so cute. <laughs> Use the scissors. No, no, no. Okay. I'll take the little one. Damn. Okay. It's like an actual cookie this time. Kinda, it's not like It kind of feels like the polvorone a bit. That hit weird first. That's freaking good. You like that? That's good. You know what that tastes like to me? Mm. Those, um... Is that like a European cookie? Yeah. yeah. Like a European cookie. I don't like know what one of those. One. one of those long ones that have the macadamia nuts in them. Yeah. That are a tiny like bit the harder. Crisp yeah. Cookies. That's the first whole one she ate. They're mine. They're not your. I, like mine. I wouldn't say that this is really a Filipino food, but it's cookies that we use as a sewing kit. This is just a little break in between, but I know everybody is who's had these cookies your mom has used this as a sewing kit container i know mine does and probably still does i told him not to use this because when i was growing up at my grandma's house she always had these cookies 
And <laughs> once the container was done with, she kind of put whatever she wanted in there too. So I think it's just like a universal thing, but you know, it's kind of funny how sometimes other cultures all share unique little things. Mm. No, nah, that's from Philippines. <laughs> Butter cookies, 10 out of 10. <laughs> that's a show in here, man. <laughs> Next up is the pork show pal. Pork show pal, it's a pork bun. Like a pork bun, yeah. Love me some pork bun. Smells like pork bun. Make sure you take off the wax paper from the bottom. Yep. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure she's gonna keep eating this pork bun, but in the meantime, if you guys haven't followed us on any of our social media, here they are down below. As well as if you haven't already, you can also follow us on TikTok. And we want to say thank you for helping us reach over a thousand followers, and we are really close to hitting 2,000, so. Thank you guys so much. We really appreciate all of you guys really supporting us with our um, online being. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So the show pow was definitely also a 10 out of 10. I pretty much finished that entire thing with like two bites help for Max. I had, yeah, no <laughs> bites. So I think that so far that is definitely my favorite one. Out of everything? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm pretty sure she's tried this one already, but we're gonna have her eat some pancit. So you've had this one already. Okay. Um, it's pancit. It's the noodles. Oh, pancet. I love this. This is one of my favorites. Okay, give it to me. His mom's is so good though. Like I'm not even lying. She makes, I think, the best pancet I've ever tried. And I've tried like a few people. I'm not naming names. But like, it was so good. I'm gonna say it's missing like... It's missing something. It's missing something. So I'm gonna give it like an 8.5 out of 10 because... Alex's mom's is like a 10 out of 10. Mom, and... really... She had shrimp in hers. Yeah. This one's all vegetables. Yeah, but that's okay. It still tastes like really, really good. I remember stealing these from the cupboard all the time growing up. It's Hanny. So this one, I actually ate it a lot growing up. Mom and dad always buy like two or three because we'd hide them in the drawer. What do you mean hide them? They'd hide it from me because I ate so many. It says milk chocolate. but Hanny. But it's like a peanut. Hanny milk. by Annie. Annie's, Annie's Hanny. Hmm. Just I'm, milk chocolate? See, that's what it says, but it's like peanut butter. I don't know how to describe yeah. it. I need scissors for this. Yeah, it's weird. Oh! I'm that's cute. That's cute. Okay. Now, they're, they're very crumbly. Every Filipino snack that we've tried so far, for some reason, is. It's really crumbly. Yeah. Hmm. That tastes like something. This tastes like a candy bar that you get in like one of your Halloween bags. It's like one of the ones that come in like the big. I just had Hanny. That's pretty good. I'll rate Hanny out of seven out of 10. Personally, I've never tried this one, but it's that Gina stuff. So next is a drink that my mom, mom, yeah. Is it also expensive? I actually have no idea. We, <laughs> grab, we grab these from the same plate. Usually it's mango, but this is the tropical fruit juice Gina. Hmm. And it's not expired. September Yay. 8th, 2020. So there's mango, papaya, guayabano. What is guayabano? I don't know what guayabano is. Does anyone know what guayabano is? Put that down in the comments. Pineapple, calamansi, and that's it. I got it. Strong woman for it. Oh shit, okay. Let me try I've only ever grown up with the mango one around me. Damn, that tastes good. Oh, that's so good. I'm gonna give this a nine out of 10. It's not the best fruit juice I've had, but it's pretty damn close. We just grabbed this off the shelf. It's Duo, the sunflower crackers. So I actually haven't tried the next one. It's called Duo. It's by the sunflower crackers company. And it's also peanut and chocolate cream. This I'm, sounds good. It sounds good, right? but it's sunflower crackers. Well, I've, I've never tried a sunflower cracker, so I don't know. Isn't it like a sandwich? Almost. I'll take this a little bit. You take that one. I really don't know if it's going to taste any good. That doesn't even deserve a number. 
No, if those horrible what's it called things got a number, so is that. I'll give that a two because it's at least edible. Now I see the next one and I know what it is because I have tried it before, so gimme. And the last thing is the ube sticko. We, ha we have <laughs> it in the house already. Let's just stick. Sticko! They taste Wait. absolute. Um, there you go. <laughs> but they are so delicious when you get like a glass of like regular milk or chocolate milk or even like hot chocolate. You, you can like use them as a straw. Mm. And these ones are also ube flavored. This one I know she's gonna eat it anyway. It's mom's lumpia. So these are gonna be last things. You've also tried these already, but it's just good to have. I see them too and I'm so excited. It's my mom's lumpia mm. and her vinegar sauce now to me that smells super potent and i don't like it Ugh, okay they're really hot now i've been taught by alex's mother the proper way to eat this is always to grab one bite off the top then you grab some of the vinegar and you pour it into it mmm I just eat it the way it is. Oh, it's so good. I think it's honestly one of my favorite things that Lex's mom makes. Probably eat these every single day of my life and never get sick of them. Even though this is the last snack of the video, I must say, I think that it was really cool that we got to make this. And I think I'm like really lucky. Not just the fact that you're Filipino, but that I get to experience so much culture being in the relationship that we're in. And uh, I just respect the Filipino culture so much. It's just very vibrant and the food is amazing and I'm just really lucky to be a part of that. And I'm really lucky that all of Lex's family really is, is encouraging in me trying every single thing that's put in front of me. So Yeah, and she eats way more Filipino food than I do. I do. His parents comment on that all the time. <laughs> His parents talk smack about it all the time. For me, not her. I'm a food lover though, so like what do you want from me? So that is it for all the Filipino food that I have for Chris to try, and we really hope that you enjoyed it. Did you enjoy it? Oh yeah, I enjoyed it. I like quite a bit of them. I think we're definitely going to be making some stops to the store that we went to to get half of these at to like get some more, but there will be certain things that we won't be bringing back into this yeah. house. <laughs> Never again. Thank you guys again so much for watching, but before we go, our notification shout out of the day goes to... Mr. Andy Aguilar, he says, Notification Squad, where are you at? Thank you for having your notifications on, and thank you so much for being a part of our KL family. We love you so much. And for all of you guys out there, if you have not yet subscribed, please don't forget to do it down below to join the KL family, just like he did, as well as that you click that bell notification in the corner so you are notified every single time that we post a brand new video. So that's it for this video, you guys, and we'll catch you in the next one.